loves, it's Sam. So today I'm gonna to be sharing five slash six, there's one other product, uh, five products that you need to try from Beauty Counter. And they are all skincare products except for the sixth one, which is why it's not kind of included in the fifth, um, which is a makeup product that I've had for a couple years now and I absolutely love. But these are five skincare items from Beauty Counter that I have been testing out for you guys and I think they're really awesome. So I'm super excited to partner up with Beauty Counter to share these items with you guys today. I will link everything down below for you guys so be sure to go and check the description box. Everything will be down there. Also, uh, be sure to follow me on Instagram. It's at Sam Sherman, S-A-M-S-C-H-U-E-R-M-A-N. And let's go ahead and get started. First of all, the packaging is so cute. Like, can we just, can we just take a moment to appreciate that this is the cutest deodorant you'll probably ever see in your life. Isn't that so fun? So what's really cool about this deodorant is that this is the case and then they actually sell the deodorant in like refillable. So you only ever buy this one case, which is like very kind of eco-friendly. And then you just, um, you know, well, I don't actually know how to do it. I'm gonna have to figure out because I just got this. Um, but then you can just buy the refills and then you just take out the refill once it's empty, put the refill in, like the fresh refill, and then you always have this case. But the case is just so cute. So this smells very coconutty and I have been using it. I've been testing it out for you guys. It feels a little tacky at first. It kind of has to like warm up a little bit before you can feel the smoothness, but then once it kind of warms up, then it glides on really well. It smells like coconut, like a really just nice, soft, kind of creamy coconut scent. So far, I have not been stinky, which you guys know I have to like, I, I've struggled with deodorants. Like it's really difficult for me because for some reason, like I think it's because I tan so much, like as far as self tanning goes, that sometimes things will mix with me and then I'll get really weird BO. Kind of smells like weed, <laughs> um, not the best. I mean, it's, I suppose it could be worse, but um, it's like, sometimes it's hard for me to find deodorants that like actually work and don't make me stink. So far I have not had any stinky armpits with this, no BO, but the packaging is just so darn cute and it's called the Beauty Counter, the Clean Dio. And it's literally, I think I've seen it on Teresa Losser's channel or her Instagram and, um, I've been wanting to try it for a while and then Beauty Counter reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try out some of their products and when I was like, wait a minute, I think they have the cute deodorant. So then I was like, yes, I do. And um, I got the cute deodorant. So I'm really excited. So far, it's really good. It is a clean deodorant. So let me just get the box so that I can tell you guys all the good details because you know me, babe. I cannot remember anything for the life of me. It says it's, it works, it's clean, it's sustainable. This long lasting deodorant neutralizes odor and absorbs sweat without the use of aluminum. With a tropical coconut scent, it glides on smoothly, leaves no white residue and won't stain your clothes so you feel fresh all day, every day. Oh, I just put it on and there's no white. So that's exciting. So I would highly recommend this. So far, so good and so cute. The next thing that I have been absolutely loving is their cleansing oil. Oh, I got, there's foundation all over it. Gosh darn it. Why am I so messy? My foundation was like splattering all over the place today because it was running out. So I've been putting this to the test. You don't need very much. It's like a very concentrated oil. The packaging is gorgeous. It has a pump top. It's like that soft light pink. It is a glass jar. And basically you just need like two pumps and it just dissolves all of your makeup. So instead of using a cleansing balm, you would use this and then it just, it just, just breaks down all the foundation, the lip product, the cheeks. It smells like avocado oil to me. Like it's not overly scented, which is sometimes quite nice for a skincare product. Um, it just says dispense two to three pumps onto hands and massage onto dry face and eye area. Apply warm water to form a light milk, then rinse clean. It says this luxurious cleansing oil effectively removes makeup and other impurities without stripping lipids from the skin's fragile barrier. The formula rich in vitamin E and fatty acids plus our plant derived retinatural complex of bakachoy and alpine, alpine rose helps reinforce the moisture barrier for soothed nourished skin. Ever since I've been using them, my skin has felt really, really supple and super duper hydrated. Like it never ever feels parched or dry or tight. Like it just, even when I don't have any moisturizer on, like I got out of the shower this morning and I hadn't put any of my skincare on. And then I like went to like just touch my face and it already felt so hydrated. Like it was already really moisturized. So I feel like it's obviously the products that I've been using. Also, there's a, a scrub that I'm gonna talk about in a minute. And it is, well, it's a mask. It's like a mask scrub. It made my skin 
so soft like it was insane i could not stop touching it because it was just so soft like the scrub worked so so well um so i'll talk about that in a minute the, the next thing i'm going to talk about is this moisturizer the packaging i just oh i cannot get over the packaging beauty counter is killing it aesthetically like it's just so pretty so this is the beauty counter um i can't actually read i think it says counter time antioxidant soft cream so you've got a little pump top the packaging again glass everything feels like really quality like expensive like very chic it just says apply a small amount to face neck and decolletage massaging gently into skin with upward strokes i got it because of the packaging you guys know me i mean i have issues but um i got it because of the packaging but i think the actual product itself is really really creamy and it's like rich but lightweight at the same time it says featuring our plant-derived retin natural complex of bakachoy and alpine rose this lightweight cream leaves skin looking rejuvenated nastur nastur to oh gosh how do i say this nastur to tim Nasturtium flower extract helps improve hydration to protect skin from drying environmental stressors. Skin is left looking healthy and glowing. And it says you can use this daily. And I think you can use it morning and night. I have been. It comes out white and it, it absorbs really fast. But like what I mean when I say it's like rich but lightweight is that it doesn't feel super thick or heavy, but it feels like really, really like rich in the fact that it feels really hydrating. Like it, I don't know, it just leaves your skin feeling so soft and supple. And you can probably tell like how like healthy and glowy this one looks compared to this hand is like looking just a bit like dull. It really does like kind of give you that really gorgeous like glassy kind of glowy looking skin and there's a bit of a slip to it like it is quite silky feeling without that silicone -y feel so when you have it on your skin your skin feels really really soft and like like silky afterwards I don't think there's a scent <sighs> pretty sure there isn't let me just squirt out no I mean if there is there's it's very slight like I really can't smell anything at all but yeah, it really just hydrates. Like it makes, it just, my skin has just felt really soft, really, really supple, just really just, I don't know, just healthy and really nice. I mean, look at that glow. It really does just, it, it glows up your skin really nicely. And the packaging is gorge. This is the Beauty Counter Counter Sun Mineral Sunscreen Mist. SPF 30, provides UVA and UVB defense. Water resistant up to 80 minutes. So I usually will do like a SPF 30 on my skin. I tan pretty easily, but, but as you can see, it comes out like a really fine mist. It is a continuous mist. So no matter what, like what position you're in, it's going to mist out really nicely. Um, it sprays on white to help guide application, blends in easily and dries quickly with no with no oily residue it's formulated with non nano zinc oxide and california poppy and it is a physical sunscreen so you can see it's white but then it like just kind of disappears it's really interesting like it's a very very i don't want to say dry formula but it immediately goes into the skin and you are not left with any dew or glow or oiliness it's really good if you don't want to get sunscreen all over your clothes like if you're just going on a hike or something like that um where you're not going to be just lying out like you know like a statue with your bikini on so this is something that i think would be really great for like when you're doing outdoor activities riding bikes hanging out i don't know at your kids soccer game i don't know i don't know whatever you guys will be doing in the summertime where you're not necessarily like laying on the beach trying to look all oily and greasy because it doesn't it's hydrating but it doesn't look oily or like feel greasy on the skin i would definitely keep this in my purse in the summertime when I know that like you just never know when you're gonna be outside and it's gonna be like even if you're just having a picnic and you're like oh crap I feel like I'm getting a little little sun then you can just pop that on and it's not gonna like make you feel all greasy and gross because there are some sunscreens that do that and like I'm totally fine with that if I'm just laying out there and I want to look all glistening cool beans but there are instances where you don't want that to happen and I feel like this is a really good one for that because it would be great for the kids if um, you know you're not gonna be like out for a long time that you don't feel like you need like SPF 70 or whatever but you just need like a little a little something to protect them so I for me it's like picnic hiking bike rides something where I know it's not gonna be in in like direct Sun the whole time but you are gonna be outside this is a really good one because it's not gonna make you oily at all then last but not least this is magic okay so this is called the beauty counter reflect effect AHA smoothing facial mask 
The packaging is really cute. Actually, it matches my sweater. I did not plan that, but hey, I'll take it. Is it focusing? So that's what it looks like. It's super cute. And then on the inside, it's kind of like this clear, like jelly looking mask, but it has like little kind of granules of like scrub in there. So that's what the actual product itself looks like. So sometimes when you think of a mask, you think of like more of like a clay consistency. This is not a clay consistency. It's like a jelly, but then it has like pretty like pretty big scrubs in it, like granules of exfoliant. So this supercharged AHA smoothing facial mask instantly transforms a dull, tired complexion to reflect your best skin yet. The bouncy gel formula flecked with bamboo particles for added exfoliation is packed with AHA glycolic acid and hydration boosting saccharide isomerate to refine texture for skin so smooth it glows. There's like the AHA and then there's also like the scrubbies. I have this tool from Beauty Counter which is really, really cool. It's very handy. So on one side you have the scrubs which you can see my scrubs are in there. They're kind of hard to get the scrubs out. There we go. So see, I've got little scrubs in there. So that's kind of hard to get out, but this is great for taking off the mask. And then this you can use to put on your moisturizers, your creams, your serums. And then this is like a little spatula side that you can scoop out the product. So what I did was I scooped out the product and then I would basically just, you know, put it on my face like spackle with my little tool. I let it sit on for 10 minutes. It does hurt if you have any open, <laughs> open wounds. I had a zit right here and it had, um, it was like kind of not scabbed up and I put the mask on, it stung. So if you do have any like breakouts that are like open or what they're, they're not scabbed up yet, uh, maybe avoid that area cause it did sting a little bit, but it didn't sting the rest of my face. It was just that little area. Yeah, I guess it does dry down a little bit, but you can feel the scrubs in there. Like the scrubs are pretty big. So then what you wanna do is get this wet and then use this little scrubby side and then you just exfoliate all of the scrub off. It's kind of hard to remove without this tool because I tried it just because I wanted to let you guys know like, is this tool necessary? And I did find that it was quite difficult to remove the scrub with just my fingers um, and like just the flannel. So I feel like this scrub actually does really get in there and break apart the mask and break apart the scrub so that it kind of comes off a little easier. And you just keep on kind of running underwater and then just keep on going and like in circular motions, just kind of exfoliating so that it's exfoliating off the dead skin right away. But then you're also getting the AHA as well. So I really like this thing. I think it's really nice to apply the mask and you could use this with other masks too. Um, and then you can apply your actual creams, moisturizers, serums, whatever with this side. Cause then it's like a nice little massage for your face. So, and this is rubber or silicone, it's silicone. So you can like wash it. I just need to like figure out how to get these little scrubbies in, out. Cause they're like super duper in there. I think I need to like, oh yeah. If you get your nail, you can kind of like get them out, but this is quite handy for that mask. Um, but the mask literally made my skin so soft, so glowy. Like my skin looked like there was no dead skin whatsoever. Like it looked so healthy. It was like unbelievably silky soft. So I really think that that one does a really great job. And what did they say? Did they say twice a week? Use up to twice a week. So that one is a really good one. Um, highly recommend it. So is that what? That's five, one, two, three, four, five. So that's five. My last favorite item. I mean, I know that I said five, but I'm just gonna tell you. Last time I checked, like the last few times I've checked, this is sold out in the color that I have, but they do have the darker shade. So if you're a deeper skin tone than me, um, and you think the darker shade would work for you, then I would pick it up because it's honestly so good. But this is the Beauty Counter uh, Radiant All Over Bronzer in the color Dune. I've actually, this is my second one. I had one, I used it all up. I ended up buying another one. I've almost used this all up. So Dune needs to come back in stock ASAP because I'm gonna run out and then I'm gonna be really sad. But you do have a little mirror. It's just such a good color because it has a reddish warmth to it. So it's not an orange warmth, it's a red warmth. So like for me, when I go in the sun, I get kind of like that reddish kind of like, I always like to call it like the Hawaii tan. Cause when you go to Hawaii or we used to live there, but you just always have that like kind of red warmth to you. Like it's kind of like a really just rich, like, I don't know, like a brick bricky color. I don't know. I really like it. So that that's what I like about that one is that it mimics like how I actually look when I'm tan, which is kind of like that 
warm kind of red versus like an orange or like too ashy that one has the perfect amount of red in it which i really like because it looks the most natural um kind of like matching to my actual real tan so i spend a lot of the time at the beach in the summertime i get as many beach days as i possibly can before the fires start and then once the fires come then it's horrible to like breathe in that smoke so i'm really hoping that this year will be better because last year we hardly got any beach days in and then we had basically our whole summer was ruined by fires which really sucked because the smoke was so bad that like you just could not be outside or you'd get a headache um so i'm hoping that this summer will be better so i've been trying to go to the beach like now so that even if the summer comes and the snow the smoke comes like i'll be okay i will at least have some beach days um but i really do enjoy the beach so i do get like pretty tan i'll get like a really good color naturally Mommy. yeah daddy's home oh okay cool oh can you take posy out yeah okay Jay came home from work. He's not feeling very well. I guess there's like a little stomach bug going around and I think maybe he might have caught it. Um, so he came home so he didn't get anyone else sick. Plus he's just not feeling good. Um, anyway, so yeah, there you guys go. I hope that you guys enjoy. I found that helpful. I'm going to link everything down below. I have a little hair that is like moving whenever I talk. But those are five slash six products that you need to try from beauty counter that are really good the packaging is gorgeous the products itself are really really nice and um they're just like really good quality products so i will link them down below definitely check them out thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to follow me on instagram it's at sam sherman s-a-m-s-c-h-u-e-r-m-i-n and i hope you guys all have a fabulous day